Greetings, female siblings, and welcome to an insane tea spill on everyone's favourite sexual predator, James Charles. I'm going to assume you've already seen enough videos on Big Man Jamie to last you through until the next YouTube Rewind, but I don't care. So, let's get it. So James has been in a bit of a rough situation ever since he was exposed by a woman named Tati, whose partner basically got James Charles' channel from $100 per video to thousands of dollars per video. She made a 43 minute video about all the shit he's done, and one of the main points that she made was in the past he's allegedly tried to seduce straight men and use his fame to do so. You were talking in detail about things you wanted to do to the waiter, and when I said, James, he's straight. Your response was, doesn't matter, I'm a celebrity. That's fucking vile in my opinion. The idea of using your wealth and fame to manipulate someone to do anything is really horrible. But to get them to sleep with you is just a whole new level and I, I just can't believe it. Also, he bribed someone for nudes by convincing him that he would buy them some Gucci shoes, which is just another example of him using his money to manipulate people and control them. But James has been accused of something quite similar to this in the past. He was accused of pretending to be a girl online in high school to get news from the boys in his school. Yet another example of Jim here manipulating people. James does love some Wonga and he's not afraid to show it. I mean, he's got to find some way to pay for all those bomb sugar bear hair pills. So, as any sane human would do, he charged $500 the tickets to his tour, holy shit. He faced, shall we say, a small amount of lashback. He added a goodie bag, wow. So I guess that's his way of combating the uh, the hate. To be fair, it's not a Tanacon level of wank goodie bag, but it's not enough to justify that price. But that's not all he's done for a few gems. I think he was asked by Tati, by sister Westbrook, to promote her brand or something, and then he said no. But essentially, he swatted that idea and instead promoted sugar bear hair. But he wasn't even upfront about the fact it was an ad. He acted as if he just really liked the product and put a hashtag ad in the, the really small text in the corner of his Instagram story. Not very r nice, really. A bit slimy. <laughs> As the final section of today's drama alert, the best content across the entire platform of YouTube, apology videos. Now, if you've been on YouTube since January of 2018, the odds are you know a fair hefty bit about apology videos, but do you know the formula to any great apology video? Let me share my knowledge. So you've got the essential beginning of an, any apology, the sigh. Check. The different setting. Check. The lack of editing. Check. And finally, the cry. Mom, I need you to know. We did it, gamers. This is a truly epic apology. Well done, James. You have officially negated any positive effect the apology would have had because you acted exactly as I and everyone else predicted. In the video, all he does is play the victim, and he doesn't even apologize for the predatory things he did. All he tries to do is make Tati feel bad for him. That's going to be it for this episode of Content Cop. Hope you enjoyed. And if you're cool, like and subscribe.